Hello everyone, welcome back to another DIY gym equipment video. I'm Kyle and this is Kaizen DIY Gym. In this video, I'll show you how to make the trap jack. Yeah, I know, I can already foresee the comments. Real men just suck it up. They don't need a jack. Stop being a cheapo, just buy an open trap bar. Why do you need a jack? You already have a rackable trap bar. The last comment is true. I do have a rackable trap bar, but this project isn't for me. This project is for Hadi Home Gym and all the other lifters out there with closed, non-rackable trap bars. By my estimation, there are thousands of those bars out there and thousands of lifters who have to go through the hassle of loading and unloading them without a jack. Well, not anymore. The trap jack stands the bar up on its side so it's easy to load and unload. Today, I'll be showing you two versions, a simple version and a fancy version with all the bells and whistles. The full list of tools and materials is located in the description of this video. By purchasing from those links, you are helping to support future DIY projects. Safety first. Be careful. Don't chop off a finger. DIY projects are awesome, but being safe is even more awesome. Okay, one last thing before we get started. I'll be showing you the measurements that I use with my specific bar. You're gonna need to double check the measurements on your bar just in case the specs are different. I start off with a one by eight and cut it to 22 and a half inches. Next, I'm cutting the side pieces. These are gonna be as tall as the two by fours, so I use a two by four to mark where to cut the first one, then use that as a template for the second one. Then I cut the two by fours to 21 inches. Here are all the measurements I used. I used my combination square to mark the center of the one by eight and make a line. I use a caliper to measure the width of the trap bar. This one is 24.9 millimeters. It's not very scientific, and I'm sure there's probably a mathy way to do it, but I mark the board using my caliper width, and I try to keep it as centered as possible. I use my combination square to mark both sides and make lines. These are actually pretty important. They'll help you attach the two by fours in the right place. I set up the pieces and mark where the corners of the two by fours hit the top of the one by eight, then draw a cut line. This cut serves no function and is purely aesthetic. I use my miter saw to cut. I don't know what the angle is, so don't even ask. Honestly, just do your best to guesstimate. It doesn't have to be perfect. Once those are cut, I flip over the one by eight and mark where I need to drill my holes. I clamp on the side piece and put in a couple of screws, then repeat on the other side. I put the two by fours in along the lines I marked earlier and a couple of screws in each side. So far, I've been using screws to put everything together, but this thing is gonna need some reinforcements. I use a three quarter inch Forstner bit to drill some shallow holes for the lag bolts. I add a total of six two inch lag bolts along the bottom. Then I do the same on the sides, adding two lag bolts to each side. As with most of my projects, I go over the edges with a roundover bit on my table router. It's not necessary, but it helps to get rid of sharp edges and looks nice. And I do a quick run with the sander. This hole is for a hitch pin. You'll need something to keep the bar in place and a single hole in the center is the easiest solution I could come up with. Okay, we're gonna pause this real quick. This is actually something I should have done earlier in the process before I attached the two by fours. That way I could have clamped them together and then drilled one hole all the way through. The diameter of the drill bit will depend on the size of your pin. I'm using a 5 8 inch hitch pin and I drill a 3 quarter inch hole with my Forstner bit. I want the trap jack to match my lumber jack, so I'm going with the early American wood stain. And 
And just like the Lumberjack, I'm using my Glowforge laser printer to customize it. I draw up a simple design on my computer and hit the print button. I'm cutting this out of 8 inch birch plywood. I'll be attaching two pieces on each side. I paint the top layer black and the bottom layer white to really make the words pop. Once the glue is dry, I attach these to the sides. And this bad boy is done. It looks amazing. I load it up and take it for a spin. It works just like an open trap bar. By standing upright, it allows me to easily load and unload the plates. So when using this thing, I keep the jack attached. Yes, it adds seven pounds. Yes, it throws off the balance a little bit. It's not a perfect solution, but it does make loading and unloading a lot easier. Well, if you don't want to get all fancy, you can make this, my prototype. Here are the pieces and measurements I used. This one was free to me because all the wood was scraps from previous projects. The main difference is the 2x4s on the ends rather than the 1x8 with the cutout pieces of plywood. After getting everything into place, I reinforced with lag bolts. And there you go. It's not pretty, but it still gets the job done. So that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Actually, if you hate it, just keep on scrolling. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.